I got one actually. It, I, I've seen that uh, you did a lot of stuff after uh, Glow of like you know uh, Married with Children, but you did Say by the Bell. What did you do? Yeah, Save there's the a Bell? we did Five and Under. So back in the day, <clears throat> they would pick people out of the crowd, and they would say, "You come over here and say these lines. You come over here and say these lines." They used to just give you lines left and right. On that particular one. Um, me and another blonde girl, Jennifer Whitlock, were just walking through somewhere. And so they gave us a credit for being, you know, I don't, I don't want to say that it's like such an acting credit, but because we were in the scene with the actors. Right. So back in the day, we did a lot of extra work. And that's basically how I got into GLOW is because my boss at my real job, Mm -hmm. Let me go do this extra job and mm -hmm. then said to me, um, do you want to be an actress or do you want a real job? So <laughs> I'm like, oh, you're going to be my dad. So I didn't go to any more of those jobs until there was the call, like in the Glow Netflix, when she goes home and listens to our answering machine. Same mm -hmm. thing for me. I went home at lunch, answered the machine, and it said that I had an audition for a sports related show and it was at 6 p.m. and I'm thinking damn it's after work I'm just gonna grab some clothes change at work and head to Hollywood and wow. um, I'm glad I went to it because if not you and I wouldn't, wouldn't be talking be right now but as a matter of fact I used to visit a <laughs> lot of Kroger's in Nashville Chattanooga Google the Kroger meat scam <laughs> what just Kroger just Google Kroger meat scam you're going to see my name <laughs> and Jimmy oh my Cornette, gosh. and, uh, and me and Jerry Jarrett and Jimmy Cornett have a thing called the great debate. I know um, Jerry Jarrett. You mentioned well, him earlier. Oh yeah. He's, he's, he's uh, one of my better friends. I love Jerry. You're in Nashville somewhere. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, he's, <clears throat> he used to have a house near where Conway Twitty and Laura Red Lynn and all them live. Yep. Yeah, and people would drive by and they'd see Conway's house and they'd see Loretta Lynn's and all the big country stars. But everybody would stop and say, "Well, who's that big house belong to?" Yeah, oh, that's Jerry Jarrett's. He's the wrestling he, promoter here. May I say something? He is so kind and so nice. We just I, there. I went to a little small little wrestling promotion about an hour south, and he was sitting next to me. Yeah, and he asked me. He goes. <laughs> He goes, does David McLean still do glow? I go, he doesn't do glow. He does wow. He goes, I've known him for a long time. Please tell him I said hello. But he was such a nice, nice man. And I told David, David goes, oh, my God, yeah, Jerry. The, the legend. The, he, doesn't, yeah. he doesn't get enough credit for how important. No, he doesn't. He yeah, I agree. Nice, um, nice guy. Uh, I didn't get to meet him. Um, for anything extended until long after I'd gotten into wrestling and he discovered me doing podcast and he could not figure if me and Cornette was working everybody or not. He oh, thought yeah. Jimmy and I hated each other. Jimmy oh, and I have been yeah. best friends for pushing. Well now pushing 40 some odd year, 42 years. Yes. But Jerry Jarrett would hear our podcast and he says, those two hate each other. <laughs> so he wanted to have a debate between us. And then we did the debate. He still thought we hated each other. And the whole time, me and Jimmy are just laughing our ass off about all this stupid stuff we're doing. And That's what right. it is, what it is, is that we had the knack of being able to tell the truth enough about stories to where, oh, that's real. You know, what, what Kenny just said about Jimmy, that's real. Jimmy don't like people to talk about that. And then Jimmy would talk about stuff that I didn't like to hear people talk about. And then we would enhance those stories. And then, so in other words, Jimmy would tell a lie and then I would back it up and tell a bigger lie. And, 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 and they all sounded very real, very truthful. And Jerry Jarrett to this day says, I know deep down inside you two hate each other. And then Jimmy and Hack would speak to each other for about a year and a half. Cause he got mad that I started working for Vince Russo. And, um, as a matter of fact, my son says that the guy in these new glows, okay. he says, he says, dad, he says, ask her if the, the, if the guy that ran glow is like that Russo guy. I said, well, what guys like Russo? He said, the guy on, on the, on the series. Mark I said, Barron? I didn't know he was up that much like Russo to me. What do you think, Daniel? Mark Barron? <laughs> the, the, the actor? The comedian? The guy who plays... Uh, uh, the guy who's in the TV series now. You've watched a few yeah. of those, right? Yeah, I've watched the whole, yeah, whole thing. Chris, Chris yeah. Thinks, he's a, thinks he's a lot like Russo. I, I didn't pick that I mean, up. 
I mean, he kind of looks like him, but no, he's. he's I don't not. even know that. Maybe yeah. a little. I, mean, baby. I thought I you never, guys I were never... going to ask me because yeah. everyone does. They're like, is Mark Marin like your director, Matt Simber? Well, I think Mark Marin's got more game than Matt could have ever had, <laughs> um, for sure, because, you know, he's just, he's cooler. But you know what? That show is not a carbon copy of Glow because it's yeah. TV, you guys. It's Hollywood. So Matt but, was but, but, doing but, drugs. Glow, but Glow was TV. Yes. Yeah, it's, like, but, but, but I'm, it's TV emulating TV. It's not Correct. TV. That's exactly what it is. Yes. It's, it, it, it's, it's inspired by it, but it's not the real thing. It's not the Correct. real true story. <clears throat> yeah. Well, but, because, you know, when we do these conventions, you get people asking that. Hi, how true is it? I'm like, all they got was the documentary. We did a documentary in 2012, and they use the documentary for the blueprint. Yeah. But everyone has to understand it's Hollywood, and it's what they have to do to get their ratings. So, so be I it. Know, I don't know that I've seen the documentary. I need to do that. I'll send you a copy. Give me your address later. I'll send one up to you. No, I'll give you my address. right. To I knew you were going to say that. Right to the front. I, I definitely, when you get it, I'll need to see it too, Kenny. Um, He's just baffled that I'm paying any attention to any girl under 29. It's just blowing him away. <laughs> I, have, I, have, I, have, I, have I was going to go 20, but okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. God. <laughs> hey. um, so do you keep up with any of the today's my girlfriend turns 18 tomorrow for crying out loud? Stop that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Do you Been keep together up, for seven years. Do you keep up with any of the women's wrestling today, like the whole wrestling movement that's happening right now with the women and all that? I watch a little bit here and there, and what I see is athletes right now, and it looks good to me. I don't see the whole TNA thing anymore. I'm seeing a bunch of girls going in there and wrestling, and I love it. So I try to keep up on the girls and their names and, and whatnot. So every time it's on, I'll take a peek, look. I, I, I think they're doing a, a fabulous job, actually. My favorites right now that are up there um, are Asuka, obviously. I don't think they used her properly once she got to the WWE, but I loved Asuka. I love Kerry uh, Sane, who's going to be coming very soon. As you can tell, I have a thing here. So, And, uh, and I love Shinsuke Nakamura uh, from the men's division. <clears throat> and I think, I think WWE has just terribly misused uh, both of them. We haven't seen Kerry up here yet. Um, but she's got an elbow drop that is one of the strangest looking things I've ever seen. Really? I don't even know that you could teach anybody to do it the way she does. I think she did it, and that's just what it was. And they said, well, keep it. You know, we can't teach anybody to do that. Have you ever seen it? No. Uh, Google uh, or YouTube, Carrie saying elbow drop. How do you spell Carrie's name? I was just curious. I'm putting it in my... Uh, how do you spell that, Daniel? K-A-I-R-S-A-N-E. Oh, Car like Kari. Kari, but it's Kari. yeah. Kari scene, yeah. I think, is how. But the elbow drop is, is just one of the damnedest things. Not even Randy Savage can touch this elbow drop. You know, I'm looking her up. It says Kari Sane elbow. <laughs> I'm sure it does. <laughs> That's it. I'd yeah. be amazed if it didn't. I'd be amazed if it didn't. And oh, uh, yeah, I got 51 seconds on here. Let me turn it down. Right. Oh, wow. What the heck was that? <laughs> Oh my God! Yeah, now you see why she got my attention. She gets up, does this, and then yeah. boom! It's wicked. I don't think you oh. can do that. Do you? It, it, it's probably one of the best she best out there. Oh sure. my God, you guys! Yeah, <laughs> it's good. Well, she's coming soon. I can't wait because I don't really watch. Uh, I don't. I don't get the WWE Network, that even though I'm on insane. it a lot. That's insane. Yeah. Oh, it's, why it's, it's, that third? Frick, oh my god, don't break it, Chip. Don't break it. Don't break it. Don't break it. No, and you 